Hey guys, what's happening? It's Tommy with Crawler Concepts. This really isn't a Crawler Concept video. It's It kind of goes in line with some other videos I've done on your Jeep trailer tow rig setup. You know, I pull my Jeep and trailer with a 2014 GMC 2500 with a Duramax diesel. Allison transmission is an awesome combo, awesome truck, super comfortable, great pulling truck. If you're going to be pulling, you know, single Jeep on a single trailer, you know, that's all you're going to do. Some of the newer 1500 classes, like, you know, 14, 15 and up, they're really jumping on the bandwagon. Some of them trucks pull like a mule. I had a 2015 1500 Chevrolet with the 5.3 in it and a 6L80E um, with a 342 rear end, rear end in it, and it pulled that Jeep and trailer awesome. So, um, and some people talk about the new aluminum beer can F-150 trucks with the twin turbo V6 and it pulled good. And some people talk about the new Dodge pulls good and it's got a little bit of diesel you can get. And I think it'd probably be pretty cool for pulling applications like that. It's got an eight speed automatic behind it. Um, but you know, I've got a 2500 that I also pull our big, you know, 40 foot gooseneck around on the East coast. But, um, to go along with the little short videos I've done on, you know, your tow rig and getting set up i'm headed out this weekend to adventure off-road park for the off-road uh jamboree up there in tennessee it's going to be an awesome time really looking forward to getting up there we're all going to camp out and have a blast but um you know it's a six and a half hour drive for me one way and there's some guys that'll get in their jeep and ride up there and do it um and that's awesome i used to drive my jeep a lot but uh these days you know that's a six and a half hour trip and i've made some that are 20 hour trips so you know, having a trailer and having it set up properly really make those trips nice and relaxing. So when you get there, you're not tired and beat down just from the drive. So the first thing from the hitch back from the truck back. So I run a weight distribution hitch. Um, there's a bunch of really awesome videos about how to get those set up. Big thing is just getting the trailer nice and level, getting the drop down, and then watching the <clears throat> watching the videos from the manufacturer set those up. You can find them anywhere from you know advanced auto parts to you know your tractor supply or even Harbor Freight sells one and it's pretty decent. I think because it's a DOT item, it's got higher standards and you get 25% off and they can get one for almost under 200 bucks. That's an awesome thing. And again, I'm running a 2500 and I know some of you watching, oh, I don't need that, I don't need 2500, it'll pull great without all that, I don't need that, that's crap. I got, yeah. I've got airbags on this truck. And when I run that flatbed, I don't even run the airbags. That weight distribution hitch pulls that trailer like glass. I'm talking about like an arrow. It is straight, it doesn't wobble, it doesn't shake. I mean, it's just like glass. I also use a little sway control kit. That's a, a great item. Um, if you guys are in the market to buy trailers, um, you know, check Craigslist out. Uh, check eBay out, check whatever. If you've got the kind of money where you can go and just buy a brand new one, one of the things that I recommend is, you know, make sure you got trailer brakes on all four wheels like this trailer does. Um, and that goes back to your truck. Um, if you buy a truck to pull a Jeep and you're going to buy a trailer and it's going to have electric brakes, go ahead and get a truck, especially if you're going to buy a new one or put that in your search uh, thing if you're looking for a used one, integrated brake controller. I know you can buy an aftermarket one, stick it under the dash, but the ones that are in the trucks really work nice. They work with like the stuff that comes with the trucks, like the Stabilitrack system, anti-sway control is already built into some of the newer GM trucks like that one. So that's an awesome thing. So again, back to if you're buying a trailer, if you buy a brand new one, um, I mean, these things come super nice and get them cheap. They, the trailers are coming powder coated now, so that's awesome not even painting them. So, uh, you know, one of the things that the manufacturer is gonna do that a lot of people don't know about, they're gonna put you on D-rate tires, which are eight ply, which are pretty good tires. Um, and they'll hold your Jeep. I run 10 ply tires on mine. This trailer had D-rates on it. I had a blowout. I don't know, the, the tires were in great shape. They were a few years old. But um, that's a heavy, heavy Jeep. And that's a lot of trailer and interstate speeds and tires get hot. So I recommend a 10 ply tire. Uh, for you guys that are sitting there, look at this guy with his aluminum bullet holes. Um, this trailer started out, I gave 800 bucks for this trailer from a fellow Jeeper. I replaced the deck in it, put some new lights on it, rewired it. Oh, go LEDs if you're gonna go ahead and put new lights on it. But um, it had wagon wheels on it. When I had that blowout, I stopped at Discount Tire and told them and go ahead and put go to 10 ply tires and balance them up good i want it to pull good and that's another thing get your tires balanced on your trailer it really makes it for a nice trip um so the guys come back hey man all these rims are bent i went out and looked at the balancer and it was just shaking wobbling so i said all right give me some trailer rims he said we don't sell trailer rims i said well what do you have that fits and these were on blowout sale for like 60 bucks a piece 
and then they discontinued them and they were even cheaper so i got two more for matching spares which is cool so it looks cool it's clean they're heavy aluminum rim they're not the cheap little uh steel magnet uh aluminum uh, metal ones um i've been a mechanic in times past and i've actually seen those on our utility trailers where the wells inside those metal rims had cracked so again that's just a nice upgrade it happened it wasn't intentional it just kind of happened and there it is um lights like i said go ahead and if you're if you've got to replace your lights or if you're going to buy a used trailer and you got to put lights on it go ahead and get on amazon or ebay and buy some leds they're really bright uh the people behind you can see them are awesome they're a little more reliable and get a cheap extra incandescent one throw it in your toolbox whatever in case something happens and you need a light um another thing dot tape buy a roll of it off of uh amazon i think it's like eight bucks and put it everywhere I put a little piece at the very top corner of my trailer in the inside part of that uh, ramp. I can see that with my mirror in my reverse lights. So when I'm trying to back this thing at night into a gas station or truck stop or wherever I'm going to hotel, I know where the back of my trailer is because I can see that. So, and that's nice. Um, not only for driving purposes and other people on the road, put the tape everywhere on the trailer because when you park your trailer at an event or if you park your trailer even at your house or wherever at night people are around your trailer somebody's backing up they can see your trailer because that any light hits that dot tape it lights up like a christmas tree so go ahead um this is a a flea market part uh i bought that at the local flea market 40 bucks this is a uws side box it's supposed to go on the side of your truck bed um it bolted nicely onto the trailer um i keep all my straps and trailer equipment stuff in there it's a nice little clean little way to do it um and I just bought some for the spare tires i just bought little wheel mounts off amazon and things are like eight bucks and they're little cheap chinese things or whatever but they hold the wheel on nice and tight and they work good um it's out of the way easy access you know and i you know do that kind of stuff put that tape on your trailer you break down on the side of the road you got no power on your truck on the side of the interstate people drive like idiots you want them to be able to see you so you know make it look cool too but uh you know this is a 2008 trailer um it's been an awesome one for me i really like it i wish it had 5,000 pound axles it's got 3,500 pound axles under it but they run all right um i've beefed them up a little bit but uh you know they pull good you know it's nice if you're buying a trailer to haul your jeep especially a big four-door jk go ahead and get a trailer with 5,000 pound axles instead of 3,500 pound axles um strapping Make sure you get some good axle straps. You can use chain binders or straps or whatever, but axle straps make it nice. You know, they got the little short straps that go around the tubes and then you hook to them and you can pull them nice and tight. Um, they've got like anti-chafing strapping that goes around them. Um, and make sure you know, do it at an X point or that you're strapping at angles. So you're not only holding the Jeep front and backwards, you're holding it side to side on the trailer. Uh, that's important, you know, it's, you got a lot of money tied up in your Jeep, uh, you blow a tire, you got to get out of the way of somebody that's driving like an idiot. You want your trailer, your Jeep to stay on the trailer. Um, do it right. You know, don't strap to your, to the D rings on your bumpers um, or use your winch to strap down because you're, then you're into your suspension. So when you hit a bump, your trailer comes up and down, you're generating slack in your straps or whatever. Always strap to your axles. Um, always use four straps, four separate straps. I see a lot of guys just run too little thin, like, I mean, the cheap little, Walmart like this orange strap. I've seen, I have no joke, seen guys with their Jeep on their trailer with that, holding their Jeep on the trailer. That's horrible. You know, I, I, normally I want to stop those guys and be like, hey, my family's out on this road, idiot. Here's a hundred bucks, go buy some real straps, you know, and take the hundred dollar hit and it's gonna hurt, but it just amazes me what people do. Uh, when I load my Jeep up, I leave it in four wheel drive and it's locked. You know, that way all four tires are bound up. Um, you know, it's just, anything you can do to make it nice and safe so again you know i've done a, a few short videos online already about you know greasing your hubs how important that is checking your springs out making sure your spring bushings and all your stuff looks good your retainers your equalizers look good um i did a little short video on the equalizers and now i'm doing this video um get you two good spares run 10 ply tires um you know strap your jeep you know with good straps use four points make an x pattern um get a distribution hitch i know it's crazy if you don't like go buy one keep your receipt if you don't like it take it back but i promise you i don't care what truck you have 
And if you set it up right and put one of those on your Jeep or on your truck, you'll be surprised at how well that trailer pulls. But um, anyway, guys, that's just my, I think the end of my little um, Jeep trailer tow rig series videos that I've done. Um, you know, you guys uh, be safe out there, have fun. I did this simply because we've got tons of videos on how to get parts on Jeeps or, you know, introduction to new parts or, you know, wheeling events and all that stuff. But man, one of the things that I see now that I've been on the road this past year working for Crawler Concepts and out on the interstate going to shows is I see guys that are starting to trailer their rigs, man. And the way they go about doing it just to me isn't safe. Um, I hope that you guys watch this um, and I hope I hope this makes good sense to you guys. I hope there's some information that some of you may use. 95% of you guys are already going to know all the stuff I just said. But there is that 5% out there that this is a new thing, and this is why we're in this community is to help others. So I really hope this video helps somebody out. I hope that it makes sense um, and that it gives you some good tips that you take advantage of. Anyway, hey, guys, thanks again. Um, you know, feel free to hit me up. You can find me on Facebook or whatever. But uh, this is a... Uh, you know, just a simple video and an end to a series on, you know, your trailer and your Jeep and your rig. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Take care.